Hello and welcome. I would always come across several time encountering one single question in the workplace as prioritizing what I need to do first and prioritizing what is the second thing that I should be doing in the workplace. So prioritizing is a common factor there and we need to prioritize our work because we are in a professional environment. We are accountable, we are responsible and the bottom line is whatever that we prioritize is actually reflected as a bottom line and that bottom line is performance. So today we'll take good insight as to how to prioritize tasks in the workplace. So let's begin. When you have multiple work tasks to complete each day, you may need to develop an effective system to manage them. Prioritizing is a way to determine what you should accomplish first based on importance. Understanding the best ways to prioritize your tasks can save you time in the workplace. In this particular shoot, we discuss what prioritizing is, how to prioritize tasks and give examples of skills to help you prioritize effectively. What is prioritizing? Prioritizing includes deciding what order tasks should be completed based on their importance. This strategy may help you organize your time more efficiently. This helps you learn how to complete important tasks first, meet deadlines and have more time to finish larger tasks. Prioritization skills can help you accomplish more work in less time. How to prioritize tasks at work? Consider these steps when prioritizing tasks in the workplace. Number one, decide which tasks are the most important. First, decide which tasks on your to-do list are the most critical. You could determine this based on deadlines you have for a week. Client expectations or co-worker request. For example, you may focus on a marketing report due at the end of the day before moving on to other tasks. Number two, put your tasks in a calendar. Once you decide which tasks are most important, schedule them into your calendar. Prioritizing your time can be easier when you see your list of tasks each day. You may find that you focus better on those daily tasks when you have a visual reminder of each one you need to complete. Completing them can also provide a feeling of accomplishment, isn't it? Number third, set boundaries. Once you focus on your tasks for that day, you can further prioritize by setting specific times to focus on your work. You may have co-workers that call, email or walk over to your desk regularly to talk to you about non-urgent issues. It is appropriate to let them know you are focused on a project and will speak with them at a later time. You can ask them not to disturb you during the morning but that you would be happy to talk in the afternoon. Another method of prioritizing your time is setting your email away message to let people know which hours of the day you respond to emails. You might find that you focus better and accomplish more tasks when you set specific times to work without interruptions. Tips for prioritizing in the workplace. Here are a few ways you can prioritize your duties in the workplace, which can make you a more productive employee. One, account for distractions. Having distractions throughout your day is normal, whether you have shifted focus to another task or are responding to a co-worker. You might also need breaks during the day to relax and refocus. When you accept that distractions will happen, you might have an easier time including them in your schedule. You can even schedule your breaks such as a 10 minute coffee break mid morning and a 15 minute walk late afternoon. Get help from technology. With advancements in technology, there are many productivity tools available that can help you prioritize and stay on task. Downloading an application on your computer to keep track of your time on a specific task allows you to see how efficiently you are working. You could also use a timer to help you focus on tasks 
and plan breaks. For instance, you could set your timer for an hour of work and plan to go on a break for five minutes for afterwards. Prioritize one task at a time. It may be tempting to multitask to accomplish more, but it is often better to focus on one task at a time. This strategy can ensure your full attention is on that assignment so you can efficiently complete it before moving on to the next item on your list. You could have a higher chance of turning in quality work when you are not distracted by other tasks. Use a scheduling tool. Prioritize tasks by creating everything you have due in the upcoming month. From there, determine what needs to be done daily. By the end of each week and by the month's end, you can write this down on the spreadsheet and then organize the tasks in a calendar. Scheduling your tasks based on deadlines can help you stay focused and more and work more efficiently. Delegate tasks. If you can assign duties or share responsibilities with co-workers, you could make a list of everything you need to complete by the end of the week and delegate specific tasks to others. Decide which tasks others could finish without your supervision and assign them to your co-workers so you can focus on issues that need your immediate attention. This way you can prioritize the tasks that you need to finish quickly. How to highlight prioritization skills? Knowing how to prioritize your tasks can make you a more qualified job candidate. Here are several ways you can underline prioritization skills when applying to a new job. Number one, prioritization skills for your resume. A strong resume should list examples of prioritization skills you use at your current or previous employer or maybe while you were studying. You can list several skills and explain how you use them. For example, you might say the following in your summary or objective on your resume, which is also incidentally your career objective or your professional statement. Lead marketing manager with three years of experience using prioritization skills to organize tasks by importance and set deadlines for the marketing department to ensure it completed all projects on time. What a good way. Prioritization skills for your cover letter. Your cover letter is an opportunity to talk about how you prioritize tasks in more detail. You can tailor it to the position you are applying for by reading the job postings thoroughly and mentioning specific keywords that show you know how to prioritize, like being punctual or well organized. For example, you could talk about your prioritization skills in your cover letter in the following way. In my prior position as a receptionist, I was in charge of scheduling appointments for the human resources team each day. I would get a large number of phone calls and emails daily from prospective employees. So I prioritize my tasks by spending the morning returning their calls. I would complete my emails in the afternoon when it was not as busy since they were not as urgent. So likewise you can build your interview questionnaire specific to prioritizing tasks if you have done during your academics, the journey of academics or while you were in your previous job or maybe something that you have mastered, something that you have volunteered self and may have come across how did you prioritize and accomplish whatever that you have achieved so far. So milestones are, are there but it is important for us to prioritize them, plan them, schedule them and work on the timelines. It is basically only two things which gets featured in the to-do list. The first is always the urgent one and the second is the important thing. 
and if you are also learning to master saying no to others you will always get back to your to do list with urgent work and important work there cannot be the third version called as work which is of least priority the least priority works are never planned so always took to a plan way because that's your focus area that's what you are grooming yourself to call yourself as a professional and if you are sticking to that i think it should work for you hope we have dealt enough and deep into prioritization skills this should work for all of us so best wishes and thank you